This is both of these guys' first fights. Yeah, you'll see headgear for the first fight. Uh, it's a state mandatory rule that uh, all fighters must wear protective gear for the first three fights. After that, the headgear will come off. Shin guards are optional. A little nice little clinch action here. I like that tugging of the head with the clinch. Very nice. This is a modified Muay Thai, so it allows leg kicks and knees to the body. Both fighters are feeling each other out. Tom's got a good straight right hand there. Yeah, he's ruffling that right hand in really nice. There he goes again. Ruben looks good with those leg kicks. He's getting it started. He's starting to get his range in there, too. Yeah, nice little head kick that was blocked. Thomas got a little bit of height advantage over Ruben. A little bit. But I think if Ruben stays on the inside, I think that's going to be his plus there. Well, if Ruben um, uses those, those kicks, you know, use that to, at, at the range, to close the range in and such, and that's what he was doing a few seconds ago. Looking really nice here, there. A little bit of a low grab. Both fighters still a little bit that nice right hand again. That right hand has found its place right there. Oh, he smells the blood right here going for it. Nice Beautiful lift head kick. Oh, there and it is again. Blocked again by the glove, but really nice. Ruben's blocking it with the glove, but it's still making enough contact to the head. And Ruben's getting some solid defense. This looks really nice right here. He looks comfortable, relaxed. Ruben got the bad end of that round. James Contreras is there, his cornerman, trainer, coach. Working with a little bit right there. Coaches are now telling them what they want to do in the next round. Not a bad showing for their first time out. Yeah. I don't like here though. Look at uh, Ruben's stomach there. Breathing a little bit heavy, a little bit hard. Like we always said, Jason, conditioning is the first thing that you got to work on. Conditioning is everything. All right, round two. I think that first round had to go to Thomas. Oh, absolutely. Strong push right at the end. There goes. It opens up with just a straight right. Beep. Why not? It keeps landing with it. It's right on target. Ruben's game, he just has to keep his hands up in position to block. He just keeps dropping them. And that, that's where the problem is, is that it takes him longer to get his hands from his waist all the way up to his head before Thomas can shoot his hand straight. What he was doing, he's trying to keep the pressure. And just to say that, he starts taking the normal neutral position. Oh, oh okay. to the head. Yeah. Knees to the head, that is totally Knees to the head are not allowed. Well, I heard him pretty good. <clears throat> Bam Stell, the referee, he'll take a point away from uh, Thomas. Yeah, that would really hurt. Really you yeah. yeah. You're not allowed to kick to uh, knee to the head. For safety reasons, again, this is their first fight out. This is the first time they've tried. And for modified Muay Thai, there are no head kicks or elbows. You know, when I promote MMA, I don't let amateur fighters do knees to the head whatsoever. Just for safety reasons, so much damage can be done with those knees to the head. Oh, yeah. And massive damage, I mean, massive, massive damage compared to, you know, punches and you know, getting your foot way up there. Those knees are just devastating. So Dan's given Ruben plenty of time to recover here. Here we go. Now, the way they score this is what they call a 10-point must system, that one fighter gets 10 points, the other fighter will get a 9. 
Now, what happens now is, let's say Thomas wins this round, instead of him getting 10, he'll end up getting nine, and it could be a split, a nine-nine, depending on how the judges see it, because Ruben will get an extra point. Thomas has just found his range now. I really like what Thomas is doing with that right hand, just straight down, straight through the middle. Very seldom is he missing and not hitting Flynn. I gotta give Ruben credit, because he's still in there and he's still Just going fighting. Ending count. Four, the ref's five, had enough of that. Six, seven, eight, you ready? Tell you what, this Ruben is a tough kid. Yeah, he's, he's a tough, tough kid. but the ref is saying no, that was that. And I think this is a good call by the ref. Yeah. Very good call though. I think Ruben keep his head up high. I think just with a little more conditioning, a little more uh, technique, work in the gym, I think he'll do a good job. I mean, he's got the heart, and that's one thing you can't teach. You know, somebody who's willing to go in and go forward. Yeah, Ruben's all smiles. He's, he's laughing about it right now. James was yeah. in there, had a little grin on his face, too. That's what so. I like to see in the sportsmanship. So we're going to send it up to get the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 47 seconds of the second round, referee Dan Stell stops this bout. The winner by TKO has the red corner.